Make sure you are making sounds. Make sure you are making sounds. Is the bones of tens given to him? Oh, we join the twenty-four elders of heaven tonight. Prekuze vi ke prekuze ke pedi, prege pedi shaga badi ke pedi ke pedi, man ke pedi shaga pedi ke ko prege pedi. Kabadi, raka basha di na kabata. We thank you, Jesus. I don't hate any saying thank you. Ko ba kabadi ke palas kuzivani. No, we say thank you. Kabala sa kapati kwa kapara koske bre kwa kapati. O be di na kapati zovele kwa kapara katusko. Rambo studi kapatusko bre keti. Ande keti ko bre keti keto 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 ko Go break it here. Randa shaka ba chat yourself in the Holy Ghost. Ora gabala shaka pati ku break it here. Ke palan so bedi ke palaton to kwa kapati na kapata. What a privilege to call him Father. O bekina savai no kwa kapaka balan so break it here na kapati na. We are not wasting time calling upon the Lord. O shaka pa kapa. You are not wasting time. We are not wasting time. A shaka bali ko bedi na kapara so break it here kapati a kap. Embelesiana Suzina Kapakatina Kwakapaha. Men always ought to pray and not to offend. Don't wait for prayer point. Just pour your heart to Jesus tonight. Akabande Koske Barakadine Kuparatina Kapatina Kapata. Enko Petiki Bana Savana Kwati Gebata Kapata. Embele Kwakapa Kapara Katusko Perekepetia. As we pray, we behold, we become like him. Anto Kapakata. Ombre Keti Kapakapara Katosko Perekepetia. Kiana taka para kapatiana ta. Om brekita onti de si Jesus in us. The image and the likeness of Jesus. The Bible says he created man in his image and after his likeness. As we pray, our mortal body goes away and we embrace the image of divinity. Mortality goes away and embrace divinity. Oh, Kabbalah's cooperator. We are transfigured in his image and likeness. We give up self. Kabbalah calls kebere katia. Can we embrace divinity as we pray? Kabbalah Ascopetia, and believe so brandy him pras to brati kabati kapa. Oh, barakabadina kwaka pa kapa ra kapa la kapa. We have not received the spirit that makes us to become slaves. We have not received the spirit of the flesh. We have become the spirit that makes us to become his adopted sons. Crying, Abba Father, Holy Kabani kubara kabala so breketi kabala kapati. Oh, baranama suki branti kapata. We come as sons. We come as daughters tonight. Oh, barakabala kuzo breketi na kapala kapa. Oh, brasa vandi kopeti kapa 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 ra kwa kapa. Is somebody roaring in the spirit wherever you are? Oh, kabala kwa kapa 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 line kopeti na kapa. Don't be quiet. Pray shaka pati. Oh, bras kabandi. The mouth of a lion is always roaring. Oh, kabala kwa kabala kumeni kebele kosko breketi. Zandi kepe zo breketi kepa la zundi kepeti. Mandeli zevedi na katuzo breketi. Jananti kepa katusko prekia. Make sure your spirit is charged up. Building up your most holy faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. We are building our faith for what God is said to do tonight. Shaka pa kwa kapata. In kobanin sevede ne kwa kapata. Forget about what is not working yet and fix your gaze on Jesus. Looking up unto him, the author and the finisher. Kabalian kosketia. As we pray, can our gaze remain on Jesus? On Jesus alone. The Bible says we look up unto him and we are lightened up on our faces. We are not ashamed. Oh, Kabbalah, Kabbalah, so bene kembos kebo. Randi kebe, zumbre keti gabaliko. Regebedi zavanda kosa bali. Mande ki man toki imbra kabali. Mekobe de keti jagadi kabalati. Mando kobe di kebeli. Manshalan de kebeli. Jeneme to imbra zita. We look up unto him. And we are lightened up on our faces. We are not ashamed. Oh, we look up unto you Jesus emanante gebedi shegedina savarakati ziko sheketi zavrandos kobregedi shegedede ko sevrende ko shakapati na zevedi man teke pesuzu kubregedo shagadi man kabala zavranda ko shagadine skobregedi in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Genesis chapter 1 verse 18 the Bible says 
and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from darkness. And God saw that it was good. Uh, and the Bible also says that in verse 16, and God made two great light, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. And he made the stars also. And pastor was telling us that our, our, our central theme is the image of Jesus. You know, while I was meditating this evening, I've come to realize that if this image of Jesus must be in us, if it must be internalized, we must contact light. So we're going to be making prayer of light tonight. Light. Uh -huh. His Bible says he made two great lights. Uh -huh. The greater one to rule the day. It means uh -huh. that the inheritance we possess in this kingdom, uh -huh. Pastor, I've told us over and over again, is uh -huh. subject to the level of light that is at work in our life. As uh -huh. we pray tonight, we're going to be asking God and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive light. I receive light. Okay. If we must that. manifest the God life, the Zoe kind of life, it is pushed to the light, the light at work upon your life. Lord, I receive light. The Bible says he made two great lights. The greater one to rule the day. We are going to be specific and say, Father, the greater light to rule the day, not the lesser one. Lift your voice and prophesy light upon my light. Light upon my life. 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 Jagadi zevina kuze vregedi kabala sovregedi. We look up to him and we are lighted up. Jadina kapatine zovregedi na kapara sovregedi na. Jan de koso bregedi na kapala zevedi na kapakapa. To walk through life, we need light. In the name of Jesus, we receive light tonight. Lift your voice and make that prayer light. Jana kapate ki kapatu si vrandi kepeti. Rakapakatus ko bregedi na kapala zovregedi. Jesus told us that greater things will you do if we must do greater things in this kingdom we need light greater things are subject to light jagaba kabakino kwaka para sobreketina jana kapalizo breketina kapakapata light upon my destiny light upon my life when there is light there is illumination you begin to receive capacity you receive strength to do the impossible o kabakatine soke prakatia when there is light your faith rises dagadine kopakapala se Breketina kwaka pakatine zobe de gebedi. O kaba kapala so breketi. They call them those who turn their world upside down because they had light. O brevedine so vregedina kapa. I contend for light. I contend for light. Revelation. Jana te kapala zavala kapala katish. Reketi zevele kosha kati. Upon our destiny, upon our life as a church, we receive light. We receive light. We receive light. And God said, let there be light and there was light. O kabala saka pakudi ke bedina ko bedina. Somebody lift your voice and contend for light tonight. Jali kapa ze kuna kapakudi ke pe kuna kaparatiata. My life is not permitted to be without light. O kudina kaparan so bedina kapa. The greater light to rule the day in the name of Jesus. O rakino sum prakino brandi kapatina. Let light bring illumination to my path. O kabalis kopina kapa Badia, concerning the decisions I make in life, concerning the things I do, I receive light in the name of Jesus. Oh, Kabakino, light that revolutionize my life. Oh, Kande Skubra Kapatike Paratia, light that distinguish, light that sets apart. Eko Bedina, light upon my prayer life, light upon my altar. Jani Kopandi Kepene Sobarati, Oh, Kababarati Kapakwa Kapakapakapata, and Kubani Sebrende Kwaka. Job said, through your light, I walk through darkness. Asakapa kampa kapa taitonto kwa kapa kapa te. Rande skobrandi kepedine kwa kapa kapa. We receive light. Let there be light upon our lives. Oh, rakaba kapa kwa kapa. Jesus said, let your light so shine before me that they may see your good works. I contend for light. Kandos kaliana koro kopoto. Rekepedina kwa kapa kapa ranata. O shaino kwandi kepedina sabah. The Bible says he who he called, he did not give his spirit without limit, for he gave his spirit without measure unto him. That is a level of light. I receive light. I receive light. Lift your voice and prophesy unto yourself and say, Lord, I receive 
light. I receive light. We cannot have enough of it. We receive light in every area of our life, in every area of our destiny, upon our families, upon the lives of our children, upon everything we do, upon our destiny. Oh, Shakina man, we receive light. We receive light. Somebody prophesy light. Kano sebetiata. The greater light to rule the day. If we must take an advantage of our word and to rule our word, light. Oh, kabalas ko prendi kapata. We a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Oh, kabalas agabara kabala kwagaba. In our offices, as we go around our marketplaces, we contend for light in the name of Jesus. Oh, we illuminate our word by the light of God. Oh, when there is light, the image of Jesus finds a pre- expression. For us to become an extension of the kingdom, we must be light. As living epistles, we contend for light. Oh, run this copetina kapata. Light to receive our reho God, our abundance. Jana mana ko sebedina kapatana. Jan de ko lift your voice and call for light. Light, light. Sabakapa kwa kapakapa. Iko bedina kapakwa kapata. If somebody pray tonight, I will say, pray, we contend for light. We contend for light. We contend for light until we are like Jesus. Until Jesus, his image and his nature, his likeness finds expression in our lives. Oh, the spirit that is a Christ on death are also within our mortal bodies. If you are sick, you contend for light. If you are sick, you contend for light. If you need direction, you contend for light. that is at work upon the life of Jesus. We contend for light tonight. Light that no man can be able to shut. The light shineth in the darkness and darkness comprehends it not. We contend for light. We contend for light. Lift your voice and contend for light. Light is beyond what you are seeing that is shining on the board. We contend for light, we contend for light. Arise, shine for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord shall risen upon us. Greater darkness covered the people and gross darkness the earth. Oh, and the glory of God. When there is glory, there is light. If light do not come, the image of Jesus will not find full expression. Let there be light, let there be light upon every area of our life and destiny. Oshana Kapakwa Kapata. There is no light. We will not serve God to the way He wants us to serve Him. Janda Bakas Kofiana Takapa. Light is needed for service. Waku the land post We need light. We need light. We need light. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and begin to appreciate Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank him for lighting us up. He has lighted us. Lift your voice and appreciate him. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Somebody celebrating Jesus. Lift your voice and celebrate Jesus. Oh, Kaba Kaba Kapalata. He has made us to become light. To our world and to our generation. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory, light. Lift up my eyes to the hills. Where cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Yes, 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 yes. He said he will not suffer my foot, my foot to be moved. 
the Lord that keepeth me. He will not slumber nor sleep. For the Lord is my keeper, the Lord is my shield. Upon the right hand, upon the right hand, let us sing this song among us in our various songs. My help, my help. My help, all of my help, come as from the Lord. The Lord is our helper, Malika, and the Zebra, and the Kanto, and the Shiva, and the Lord. He's taking our scripture from Psalm 92, verse 12. He says, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Mm. To flourish like a palm tree means to stand tall and live long. Abandoned. And the cedar of Lebanon, they are large trees, very large that flourish for ages. Mm -hmm. They are always green. They are always durable. And this is what the Bible likens the righteous to be. I want us to thank God this evening for every closed door. You might be asking, why are we thanking God for closed doors? You know that if God opens your eyes to see the closed opportunities, you feel that that um, something grievous has happened to you, you will understand better why God has closed those doors. I want us to appreciate God. Thank him for every closed opportunity. Those answers those prayers that were not answered let us begin to appreciate him let us begin to thank him because when joseph was in the prison he he didn't know that the palace was being prepared for him even when the baker was leaving he told the baker please remember me and the baker said yes i will remember you, you know he promised him but when the baker went out he forgot about him you know we put our trust in men. We, they make so many promises to us, and at the end of the day, our hope is dashed, and we are we are crying, we are sobbing, we are pained. But I want us this evening to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything. Thank you for that opportunity. Thank you because I know you have a greater plan for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There was there is a story of a woman who her husband on the wedding day jilted her. She had proposed to get married to a military man and right on the wedding altar, this man did not surface and this woman wept for so many months and almost led into depression. But you know what? Many years later, she met another military man and this military man was a military, was a general in the military. And on her wedding day, her wedding day, the person who opened the door for her was her old husband that jilted her on the altar. And she started weeping and she said, oh, she was weeping for just a comrade. Meanwhile, God was preparing a major general for her. This is the same thing that is likened to us. Sometimes we cry and brood over little, little things that has been denied from us. But God is preparing something great for us, especially in this land where we have found ourselves and we see ourselves to be most times struggling for so many things. I want us to remember that the Lord said, we will flourish like the Sebastians of Lebanon. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for every closed door because we know you have greater promises for us. Thank you because you have greater plans for us. He said he knows us from our mother's womb. Before creation, he knew our name. He knows everything that we are going to be. He knows everything. From the foundation of the world, the Lord has already said he knows everything. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want us to pray from um, Psalm 23. The psalm it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And he makes me lie down in great pastures. He leaves me beside the still water. It is only your shepherd that knows where green pastures are. 
Amazing. If you are going to flourish like the cedars of Lebanon, Beautiful. if you are going to flourish like a palm tree, it is only your shepherd that knows where you will flourish more. Absolutely. It is only your shepherd that can lead you to your green pasture. Beautiful. I want you to ask God, who is our shepherd, to lead us to our green pasture in this country where you are seeking. Some people are seeking for COS, they are seeking for COS. But what you are seeking might be close to you and you don't know. But when you ask your shepherd to lead you to that place where he has prepared for you, he will lead you to your green, gra um, green grass. He will lead you to your green pasture. Your green pasture is not your neighbor's green pasture. Ask the Lord, Lord, lead me to my green pasture. Lord, lead me to my green pasture. Lord, lead me to my green pasture. Lord, lead us to our green pasture. You prepare a place for us, oh God. You made us to lie down in green pasture. You know, oh God, where you have prepared for us. Lead us, oh God, as a church, oh God. Lead us to our green pasture. Lord, take us to our green pasture. Open our eyes to see our green pasture. Open our eyes to see our green pasture. Makanto si la da 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 ba. Wherever you have prepared for us, oh God. Your grace will take us to where you have prepared for us. Your grace will not take us to where, oh Lord, your grace will not sustain. Us. Lord, take us to where your grace will sustain us. Open our eyes to see our green pasture. Open our ears to hear you, O oh God, when you are speaking to us, O oh God. That idea, O oh Lord, that company, O oh God, where we need to apply, those places where we need to go to, O oh God, that person we need to speak to concerning that condition, O oh God. Father, talk to us, O oh God. Help us to hear you, O oh God. Help us to hear you. You just need one information. You just need one only one information for you to get into your promise. You just need only one information. As the Lord to lead you to your green pasture. As the good shepherd to lead you to your green pasture. He is a good shepherd. Just imagine the sheep. Just imagine the sheep. Wherever they don't hear their shepherd's voice, they are led astray. They are led astray. Lead us as the Lord to lead us to our green pasture. Lead us to our green pasture, Lord. Help us to be attuned. Help us to hear. Help us to know you. Help us to hear when you are leading us to our green pasture. be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Glory. We are going to ask God to help us. Not to dwell in a particular season where he has called us. Let us know when that season has ended and when he has opened up another season in our lives. You know when there was famine, when God sent Elijah, God told him specifically that he should go, he should leave that place and go to east and hide himself near the brook of Cherith, east of Jordan. And he told him that he was going to supply him water through the brook. And he has sent him a raven, you know. And this was con this continued day, you know. And I'm sure Elijah had dwelt on that, you know, forgetting everything that is happening. A particular time ended the, the brook and stopped producing water. That was the end of the season for him. The next season for him was to go to the widow, you know. So God prepares a place for us. He gives us this green pasture. But it is another thing for us to understand when this green pasture has ended in this particular place. It is a season. Let us know when another season has been opened to us. Some people dwell in a particular season and they don't flourish anymore there. They are just there. They are not flourishing. You are a child of God. You need to flourish. So ask the Lord to help you to know when your season has ended in a particular place so that you will know when he's calling you out into another green pasture. Ask the Lord to open your eyes. Ask the Lord to open your ears. Ask the Lord to help you to be sensitive. Open our ears, Lord. Open our eyes, Lord. Open our eyes to see you, Lord. To hear you, O oh God. To know when our season has ended in a particular place. Do not allow us to dwell, O oh God, in a particular season. Do not allow us to continue to dwell in a particular season, even after it has ended. Help us to be sensitive to your Holy Spirit. Help us to hear that inner voice. Malik Abralandosi Shaka. Help us to understand when you are speaking to us, oh God. Help us to know, oh Lord, we don't just want to dwell in a particular place. If we must flourish, oh God, as a church, oh God, we need to know when our seasons have ended in a particular place. And we need to know when another door has been opened unto us, oh God. Father, open our eyes to see the doors that are opened unto us, O 
open. A lot of doors can be opened unto you and you don't know that those doors are open just because you are groping in that you don't know what is happening. Father, open our eyes, oh God. Father, open the eyes of our understanding. Help us to see. Help us to know. Help us to know when the season has ended, oh God. Help us to know when another season has been opened unto us, oh God. Thank you because you are a faithful God, oh God. Blessed be your name, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. We know that his divine power has granted to us all that pertains to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who has called us to his own glory and excellence. We see that in 2 Peter 1 verse 3. Therefore, let us come to him in faith to receive that which he has prepared for us. We have been a lot of things has been prepared for us. It's just for us to. There is nothing you ask for God from now. Eh? Everything has been prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Your own is just to tap into it and receive. I, I can't tell you now that I've given you ten thousand pounds in the bank. In, is in your account, and you come and still say, oh, Sister Hoda, please give me 10,000 pounds. Sister Hoda, please give me 10,000 pounds. I'll be wondering what is wrong with you because there is 10,000 pounds in your account. Just go take it, you know. So God has prepared all these things for us. It is left for us to receive it by faith. And the Bible says that without faith, it's impossible to yeah, work God. with God. It's That's impossible right. to please God. So yeah. you cannot say, oh, there is no faith. There is faith, just like there is oxygen, just like there is gravity. All those things are existing. You cannot deny them. So the same thing, in faith, receive what God has prepared for you. So we are going to ask God to give us the grace to receive our prepared blessings. We will flourish in this land. We will flourish like the palm tree. When we flourish, the church will grow. We are the church. The gospel will be preached. Finance will not be a problem. Purchasing a building, getting a building, a building. But it will not be a, a problem because oh, we are flourishing. Let us ask for the grace to receive. Let us receive that which the Lord has prepared for us. Let us receive. Let us call it forth. Let us receive. Let us receive. Faith is the, is the substance of things hope for evidence of sin, not sin. You have not seen it, but they are there. Let us receive. Let us call them forth. Father, we call forth our prepared blessings. Call forth our prepared blessings. Our financial blessings. Our spiritual blessings. We call them forth. We receive. Receive them. We receive them. We receive them. We receive them, Lord. We receive them. We enter into our rest. We enter into our prepared blessing. We enter into our prepared blessing. We enter into our prepared blessing. Oh, we entered into our prepared blessing. The Bible says that an heir, as long as he is a child, he delivers not from his slave, a servant, because even if he is the Lord of everything, he is a child because he cannot take what belongs to him. This is how it is when you don't know your blessings. Father, we receive our blessings. Blessings. We receive all you have prepared for us. We receive all that you have prepared for us from the foundation of the world. Malika ndada bazika lika nika lika bralando zika lia reka bado sushu kalia reka bada kando sila kando nenda ndada basunto nenda ndada bashika. We stand upon your promises. We stand upon your promises. Your word say we are healed. Therefore, oh Lord, sickness has no way no power over our lives. Your word said we are rich. Therefore, poverty has no dwelling in our lives. Your word said we are strong, oh Lord. Therefore, we, weakness does not dwell in us. Father, you have given us to all that, you have given us all that pertains to life and godliness. Therefore, oh Lord, there is no excuse for Lord for us to live in obscurity. There is no excuse for, for us to live a wayward life oh because we have the life of Christ in us. The Bible says that that same power that raised Christ from the dead is at work. And and we are conforming to his image and likeness. We are conforming to his image and likeness. Therefore, we, it, it's not something that is difficult. It has been made available unto us. We've been cleansed by the blood of Jesus. We've been purchased by the blood. That blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. The Bible says that for there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Therefore, there is no condemnation, no depression, no sickness, no pain, because Christ has bought them on the cross of Calvary. You say we should have dominion. You see, you told us from when you created man in the garden, we have dominion. Go and be fruitful. Therefore, we have no excuse than to be fruitful. We have no excuse than to excel as believers. We have no excuse because 
set wherever the soul of our feet shall tread upon we will possess we possess united kingdom we possess united kingdom no policy has right over us over. no regulation has right over our debt we possess the land we possess the land we possess the land we think Oh Lord, that your power evades this land, oh God. Your light evades the land, oh God. Darkness cannot comprehend, oh Makanda. Your light shines in the dark, and darkness, oh God, can never comprehend. Your light, your light, your light shines in the dark. Nebada, 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 that which you have prepared for us, O God, in the land of United Kingdom, we speak into existence, O God. We flourish, O God. We flourish, O God. We flourish, O God. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Hallelujah. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. We are going to ask God, because the best of man is still man himself. You hear that, oh, this person has promised me this. this. Your flourishing in this land does not depend on any man or any woman. It does not attach to any com- company or anything or any policy. Your flourishing is of the Lord. The Lord has decreed it unto you, and you will prosper in this land. We're going to ask God, help us to be steadfast on you. Help uh, us to trust you always. Help uh, us not to trust in man. Uh, what to hear that trust in man? Uh, Yo, those Some people trust in their chariots, but we trust in the name of the Lord. We trust in the name of the Lord. We have no other name than the name of the Lord. That name, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it, they are saved. Lord, we stand upon your word. We stand upon your word. And we say, Lord, we trust in you, Lord. Give us this grace, O oh God, to continue to be steadfast. To hold forth to your promises, O oh God. That, Lord, even when the road does not seem like it, oh God, we know that you are with us, O oh God. You are the one that calmed the storm, O oh God. You are the one that said, peace be still, Lord. You are the one that said, peace be still. Even the seas obey you, O oh Lord. We decree, O oh Lord, that our light will continue to shine, O oh God. Let us begin to worship God. Thank Him. Malika Bradosi, for we flourish. 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 Glory be to your holy name. Flourish in the name of Jesus. Palamando Bulosha Dabatia. We flourish. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, I think she went off. Okay. All right. We'll no, continue. Pastor, go ahead. I, I, I'm done. All right, man. Thank you, man. I was trying to look for you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Bless you, man. Oh, man, we give you glory. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Ashanamato Borosha Dabakato Sovaradiate. Let's give him thanks tonight. We thank him. We give him praise. We give him glory. Oh, we walk in the precision of what you have for us. We walk, we walk, we walk. We know what you are having for us. We walk in light. We walk in revelation. Our path, our, our path, our path are guided by you. Let's pray that prayer one more time. Our path are guided. We receive everything that God has in store for us. He said he has blessed us with every blessing in heavenly places. We align our heart, our spirit, our minds. We will not miss the time. We will not miss the season. We will not wander around looking for what is with us. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Glory to Jesus. We continue tonight where, from where the two uh, conveyors stopped to lead us in prayer, praying for light, pray for direction, pray for what belongs to us. 
pray for ability for us to know when it's time to move on and when it's time to stay. But we're going to continue a little bit further into that. And we're going to go to Hebrew chapter 12 tonight. We will be praying for Hebrew chapter 12. Tonight is very important because like I said to us, we are not here to just waste time. We are creating an atmosphere that it becomes impossible for God not to show up. That it becomes impossible for miracle not to happen. That it becomes impossible for wonders not to happen. We are coming into that place where experiences that we will have, men will come into our midst. They will come close to Rehoboth House. They will come close to you. That God will begin to demonstrate his power on in that. The light will shine forth in Nottingham on in that. Aradosh Kamalan de Beleto. That is where we are going. That is the journey. Manamando Valimpra Teka Tabaroshke Barande Gedia. Every move of God that you've seen in a generation, every move of God that you've seen in a church are all bought by consistent, consistent, determined pattern prayers that bring the possibility of God into reality. Manomanante Belempre Toshkaparate Kete. And we are that generation that will see the glory of God and the true image of God being manifested in this land. We are that generation that will say, come, 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 Holy Ghost, come. We are that generation that will say, come, oh God. Mashanaman to Baroshke Delia. Hebrew chapter 12. Verse 18, you know your Bible. Malando Shkabarante Gede, Elembrado Sharabato Paradia, Regede Gede Belento Boroski Belembradaya. I will have go from verse 1, but I don't have time. But let's just start from verse 18. For the Bible says, For you have not come unto the mount that might be touched, that born with fire nor unto blackness and darkness and temperance. I'm reading Hebrew chapter 12, verse 18. For you have not come unto the man that might be touched, that born with fire unto the blackness and darkness and temperance. He was talking about the experience that the children of Israel have. And he said, the sound of the trumpet, the voice of words, which voice they have heard entreated that they should not be spoken to them anymore. Ah, for they could not endure that which was commanded. And if so much as a beast touched the mountain, it shall be stoned or trust with the dead. And so terrible was the sight that Moses that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. Moses was describing a living experience of God's presence. The Bible said the glory of the Lord was so powerful that the earth quake. That the earth quake. He said, but he's but he taking us somewhere here. The mountain beats. The stone quake. Men were terrified. Men were men could not move. There was something that resonated. There was an experience that you don't need to tell anyone that you have you have come into this place. You see, you know, like I normally say, the presence of God is tangible, is visible, is touchable. And you can be a recipient and carry it. It's not a mirage. The absolute presence of God. The Bible says the sight, the sight, the sight was so terrible. So terrible was the sight. It was awesome. It was glorious. It was amazingly powerful. That Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. 
e le prosu fre me lembra takataya. E lembra toshka da balempre teke tegedia. The thing that God will do, he said, I will do a thing in Israel. I will do a thing in Rehoboth house. And the ears of them that hear you will tingle. Men will know that there is God. Let's pray that prayer before we go further. That Lord, in this season of waiting, in this season of pressing and praying, Malando felimpre adanti kidia toja, emelembre do zufre pakato baradi katabaladia. Do a thing in our midst. Malande beloto parante kedia. Lord, do a thing in our in our families. A miracle that will shake you, that will shake the world, that will shake Nottingham. Mahante beleto baradi kata. Oh, pray that prayer. Let like your voice, he said, the sound of prophet, the voice of words, the voice that they heard entreat that the word should not be spoken to them anymore. They hear the word of God so audibly. There was something that if you read, it was in this, this encounter was reflecting what happened in Exodus. There was a tangible, there was a tangible presence of God. Manambo Tuparadi Katabaladia. Pray for yourself, Lord. I want to experience the tangible presence of God. Malando Shkabaradi Ketebelea. Emelemprato Shanamante Gidea. If you understand the Bible, it was relating the experience of Mount Sinai. It was a landmark for the people of God. You cannot deny it. You cannot say God is not there. Why can't you pray for yourself and pray for Rehoboth House? Undeniable miracle. Mashanama no to baradike tegedia. Undeniable miracle. Elempra toshka parante kedia to barante kedia. Undeniable miracle. Emelon to barante kedia te brosku velimprataya. Undeniable miracle. Elempreto supra tabalan gredia tele, elengrato skibarante gedea, undeniable miracle, masufre belempre te gede, elegoto barato shanamante gedea, elembre tu zufre belekedea, o undeniable miracles, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. So the Bible, the writer of Hebrew chapter 12 was telling a story. And I wanted to continue because the Bible actually wrote it in his word. He said, the glory of the latter house will surpass the former. This is why we keep praying. Oh, Rehoboth house, you think you have seen miracle. You think you have heard miracle. Wait until you read from verse 22. He said, ah, I want to say to you that there's an experience called the Mount Sinai experience. He said, but I want to take you further. I want to take you into something else. He now said this, and this is your prayer tonight. Alabokoto baradia malampro sufre de belekete. Emelem brandoski baranta balangroski baroshe leria pradia. He said, but you have come unto Mount Zion. Alamande kete bele pro supra tadabalea. He said, But you have come, you have come to Mount Zion, unto the city of the living God. You have come. You know, in Mount Zion, people could not come, people could not experience it, people could not interact with it, people does not even understand it. He said, But in the New Testament, in Jesus, he said, Something happened to you. Ah, a marando shanamanto barante kete. No man can design or define your experience in Jesus. Because when we are in Jesus, see what happened. He said, But you have come unto Mount Zion. This one, the first experience was Mount Sinai. 
But when you are in Christ, you come to the Mount Zion. What is Mount Zion? It's called the city of God. The city of God. I am on Mount Zion. I am in the city of God. When I live, I live in the city of God. When I move, I move in the city of God. I belong to Jesus now. He said, you have come to Mount Zion. He said, you have come on to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to immer and to an innumerable company of angels. He said, You have come into a city of God. Listen to me. He was writing to the book of Hebrew. This is not when you go to heaven. No, 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 no. This is when you are on heart. You know, you sing that song. You say your presence is heaven to me. You are going to declare that over your life tonight. And you say, I'm, I've come into Zion, the city of the living God. My experience on this part of the world is different. The Bible says, when others are said there's a casting down, we will say there's a lifting up because we are in the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem and innumerable complaints of angels. You can pray that prayer simple this way and say from today, I experience more than ever before angelic visitation. Angels walk with me, walk for me. One of the things that was popular in the life of Jesus was angels. They were there solving problems. The Bible said when he was coming back from fasting, the Bible said the angel come and they minister to him. They minister to him. Oh, Rade Ketegede. I want you to pray that prayer. Amplification of angelic experience. Alama non to barate kete balado skip aladia. Amplification. El angelic experience. If you're a child of God, this is your reality. Alabako to baradi ketegede. He said, you have come to the city of the living God. I am in heavenly Jerusalem. You remember that scripture that you say you are seated. That means no sickness, no infirmities. I am in the company of angels. Pray for yourself in this season. In Rehoboth House, we command angelic manifestation, angelic ministrations in any of our gathering. Angelic walk. The Bible says they are heirs to the to the to the to the to the faith to the ministers of faith. They are, they are they, they, they go for you. They can go for that interview on your behalf. They can sort that, that issues on your behalf. You're going to pray angels that is assigned to you. Begin to say to them tonight, I say, I activate you. Begin to walk in my favor. By the grace of God, we have seen angelic manifestation in real as many times. But tonight, we pray for a deeper resonance, a deeper movement. Some of you, you begin to have that encounter in your sleep. Oh, pray that prayer. Malako to barate gedea. Open my eyes to see to the divine in the name of Jesus. He said, You have come to the general assembly. Alamato barate kete. You have come to the general assembly and the church of the firstborn. The church of the firstborn. 
firstborn. That is where you have come. The church of the firstborn, the firstborn, which are written in heaven. And to the God, the judge of all, and to the spirit of just men made perfect. You have come, Makoto Barante Belo Suprataya. Today in the evening, I was, some of, uh, I was talking to one of us about one man that decided to go online and begin to make unnecessary comment about my father and the Lord that is drinking tea. And he said, which tea did God drink? And I laughed. I laugh at him. You've, you've forgotten scriptures like this. He said, what have you come? He said, you have come into the company of the firstborn. He said, you have come into the company. He said, you have come. This is not a scripture that is going to happen. This is reality of scripture that many of you, you will be having encounters. Encounters. Moses will come into your room and begin to have dialogue with you. You know, Moses will come, Joshua will come and show you deep things. This is the work we walk in the realm of the spirit. You see, this exclusive, right? It's not, it's not reserved only for pastors. Uh, this is how men fulfill destiny. When they come in contact with great men, the Bible says you are surrounded with cloud of weaknesses. We are surrounded with cloud, many cloud of witnesses. He said, you are surrounded. He said, and you have come to the judge of all and to the spirit of just men made perfect. The spirit of just men. He's talking about immortality. These are, these are men that... They, they, Oh, that they have walked this surface of the earth. Men like Abraham. Even you can come into recent days. You, you see men, we say, oh, I saw my father in the Lord. I see that. He's talking about the spirit of just men made perfect by the blood of Christ. He said, but this is your experience. You're going to pray. And you say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I refuse to be a surface Christian. I come into an experience with you. In the name of Jesus. I've told you before, it was just a dream that changed a generation. Joseph only had a dream. Like we have prayed the first prayers, Lord, Lord, open my eyes to deeper things in Jesus. Ah, When you come unto this Zion, you come into the general assembly of the firstborn. You come to the complaint of angels. And the last one, he said, you have come to Jesus. I have come to Jesus, the mediator of new covenant. And to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. You have come to Jesus, the mediator, the guidance of the better covenant. Oh, why can't you pray those experience for yourself and say, My father, my father, in this season, I come to Zion. I walk with innumerable company of angels. I walk with the men that their spirit are made perfect. And therefore, I've come to Jesus. He said his blood speaks, that the blood speaks for me. I shall have the blood speaks for me. The blood speaks for me. This is what I will pray in the kingdom. 
We pray his word into reality, into an experiential reality. So the next time you are about to dash your foot to stone, he said he will command his angels. The next time you are about to cross the road, an enemy is planning. The angel will say, you know, we're on duty. He said, the, he said the angel of the Lord surrounds to fear him. And I wanted to pray amplification of the angelic presence. I don't know how this is going to happen, but many of you, you will see this really happening in your life in this season. Things are beginning to happen in my own life. I wish I can share testimony with you online, but if I tell you something, you will think I'm lying. No, this is real. We are in the companies of angels. This is the church of the firstborn. Oh, we have come into the Shekinah glory of God. And we have come in the company. Anytime we pray like this, Abraham is looking. Anytime we pray like this, Moses is looking. Anytime we pray like this, uh, Apostle Balola is looking. Uh, uh, parking that your means looking. Uh, he said, yes, I can see them. Uh, these are the complaints. Uh, and sometimes they can come to you. Uh, they can show you deep things. Uh, you're going to say, Father, I walk in deep things. And last but not the least, uh, we have come to Jesus. The blood speak for us. The blood speak for me. The blood speak for me. Ashabalonte belete irade gede kataba katabalade elembrato shabaradi katabadadia. The blood speak for me. And then some friend lemelendo braku dia tabarate elegete kete. This become my reality in Jesus. This become my reality in Jesus in Rehoboth this is our reality in the name of Jesus thank you heavenly father we bless your name we exalt you lord we exalt you lord in the name of Jesus we are prayed amen this become your reality in the name of Jesus as we as we plow through this season as we plow through this season, as we plow this true season, you will see many of you, you will have in jelly visitation. You will have revelation that you have not had in many years. God will open your eyes to see the image of Jesus and encounter that your destiny will never re recover from. And more mm -hmm. than not, it will not just be an experience, but it will be a reality that works in your life, that works in your favor. In the name of Jesus, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I hear this clearly and I clear. I don't know why my, my God. God amplified that name in front of me. Oluato I can see your name on this altar on this on the on the on the list. I hear it clearly. He said it is done. It is settled. It is done. It is settled and it is done. It is settled and it is done. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the glory and all the praise for in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, family. Have a oh, fantastic rest of the day. Sir. Amen, man. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you, man. Thank you, family. Thank you, family. Good night. Thank you, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.